What a lovely day for football. Welcome to you all. Martin Tyler along with Alan Smith with you to provide the call today. Serie A action against Verona, against Cagliari. I think if we get a, a nice, sharp, quick tempo to begin with, we're in for a real treat here because we've got a couple of entertaining sides that love to go forward. this game like this well three at the back that's the first thing that catches the eye what about the rest of the team well it looks to be a 3-4-3 three, three. you certainly don't see it that often and when it works it can catch the opposition off guard really it can be a really awkward shape to contend with Check for you on Cagliari and their team today. Marco Rock starts with Walter Bierster in the middle of the park. And these are the three forwards who will look to provide the goals. The teams are ready and bursting to get the game underway. Amrabat. The throw to come up now after the ball's gone out. Miguel Veloso. Still got a bit to do, but this is promising. I think the cross is on. Now he's got the ball, what's he going to do with it? And pressure to absorb, high up the pitch. Giovanni Simeone. Raja Nain Gola. And it's a shot now! Here's a chance for the lead because he's given a penalty. Well, what a silly challenge, and that might just tip this match in the favour of the team that's won it. Two decisions for the referee here. Was it a penalty? He says yes. What colour card? He said yellow. Yeah, you can't really argue, and what a chance this is from 12 yards. for this but the goalkeeper's done well oh what a stop that was gone short here the shot is blocked keeping the ball so important they haven't done it Miguel Veloso trying to find the opening which would be so crucial trying to spot a potential ball to open them up with a kick. and now the shot dealt with easily by Robin Olsen making sure there's no turnover Nahitan Nandes Giovanni Simeone Fabrizio Cacciatore Intercepted here. Amrabat. Marco Davide Faraoni. Certainly playing well enough to get their noses in front here. Now the possibility for a cross. Working the ball around, working the opposition around. Raja Nain Golan. The 
Fabrizio Cacciatore. Birsha. Giovanni Simeone. Excellent movement to get the pass and stay on side. Well, the keeper got to that and probably should have done. Yeah, you would expect him to save it, and he did. Short corner designed to move the opposition around in the middle. It's a good hit. That's offside. And the referees acknowledge that fact. Read the intentions. Lost the ball. Giovanni Simeone. They've got the ball back by that interception. Break quickly when they get possession. Amrabat. It's a turnover in play. Giovanni Simeone. Terrific tackle. Here's Veloso. Chance to go at the opposition with pace. Miguel Veloso. In with a chance. Good save by the keeper. And the manager's been getting into them on that touchline. They seem a little lackadaisical out there. Certainly not as... Uh, creative as they normally are Marco Davide Faraoni taking on the opposition and the responsibility as well any danger to the goal has gone with that clearance Roger nine Golan well we're halfway through and we haven't yet got a goal to bring to you nil nil at half time half time and uh, the teams are level where do we see a breakthrough coming for one of these sides? Well, it's difficult really to see after that first 45 minutes of evidence, but so often you do see it when after the break, things open up a little bit, more chances either end. Still great anticipation here as we get ready for the second half. could be promising it's an excellent cross and the defender able to clear it away Nandez shots on here I think that's a decent save from the goalkeeper corner and here's a possibility of making a chance to go in front that's the shoot goodness me it's hit the post Throw in to come. Well, how unlucky were they just then? I do think if they keep knocking on the door... To take the lead. First goal is always a crucial goal, and they've just got it. Well, he knew exactly where the goalkeeper was going, and he just steered it past him into the bottom corner. Yeah, he's a fine finisher, this boy, and uh, never panics, passes it into that corner. So the first goal, it's 1-0. Here's Veloso. Marco Davide Faraoni. I think he saved them there with that interception. Roger Nine Gullen. Well, they are moving the ball well here. Can he deal with it here? It's gone out for a throw. It is going to be a change here. 
And it looks like a strategic one. Gonna try his luck. Goalkeeper at the full extent, really. I think that was fingertips. What a stop. He's played it short. And it's going to be a, a throw here. I think he saw the look from the other player and saw where the... Wrong! And the goalkeeper very much on his game today. Short the corner this time. Well, that's a great block. Well, that's all they can do at the moment, concede the corners. Goalkeeper rising to the occasion, literally. Yeah, because it was sweetly struck and you do have to pay attention to those. That's a short routine here. Tries to shot here. He didn't really work the keeper, did he? Night Golan. Takes the shot off. Shot blocked here. Decided to take a short corner this time. He should have made more of that. It's only a goal kick. say you'd prefer to score from 25 yards but I wouldn't go along with that this is all about instinct different angle on it here restarting at 2-0 Good play to uh, get a foot in and intercept. He fancies his chances in getting past these players, and they've cut it out. It's going to be a substitution here for the home side. Well, maybe the counter-attack is on here. Amrabat, Miguel Veloso. Now, can they move on from this wide area where there is room? It's a good way to nick the ball back. Quick thinking. We're down now to the last six minutes. Raja nine Golan. That's something for him to chase. Well, it's come to nothing in the end. Amrabat. And there's the interception. Now Jao Pedro. They could be in behind the back line. Well, that should be the game. You could call it another insurance goal. Surely they can't throw it away here. Pretty straightforward, this match. And the late goal sums it up, really. Yeah, they just compounded their superiority with that one. And that's a goal well worth analysing again.
Well, we're in the last few minutes now, and the die has been cast in this game, really. Just one minute left on the clock. That's the final whistle from the referee. As a match, it was rather one-sided, wasn't it? Because of the capacity of one team to dominate the football. It was a football lesson, it was pretty humiliating for the inferior team. They just didn't get into it.